So I've lifted heavy weights and like I was saying before, sometimes when you go really heavy, all you're thinking about is push the weight, push the weight. You go a little bit lighter yeah. and now you're thinking, squeeze the muscle, control yeah. the movement, get that mind muscle connection, really focus on what you're doing rather than, I don't want this to fall on me, just push yeah. it. Like I said, then you're just moving the weight. You're not really you're heaving using it. the muscles, yeah. So no, it's like I said, that's a great piece. And anyone that says it's not, doesn't really know how to train because you can do everything you want on here and have a great workout. All right, it's funny, funny stuff. But yet, yeah, it's like a natural thing, it helps. There you go, you're gonna yep. show us the straight bar ones yep. now. Yep, straight bar. Oh. Well, you can use an easy curl bar. But even that weight there, Just me doing this, I can feel that in the biceps. So trust me, there's plenty of weight there to, go to get a good bicep workout. And then two, you can turn it. And you can do your forearms and biceps reverse. And like I said, you can use this bar, or you can go wider too, because you can put it down one or two lower and do your back either standing like this, or you could do sitting on a bench. But you can do it here like this, or you can bring it up higher, so you're bringing it this way, or you can put it up the top and do like a pull down. Then you can get your rows in. And then if you've made it heavier, you can do your shrugs, and then you can bring your hands in and do your upright rows for traps. So you got the upright rows, you got your shrugs, and then if you turn this way, I'd probably have to put it down lower, but you can do your front delt raises. So really when you think about it, it's unlimited almost uh, the amount of exercises you can do. And then if you've got the bench there too, if you're laying on a bench, you can do the tricep to the head when you lay on the bench and do that. And then if you bring it up, like so, Ooh. isn't it funny, like my bad arm, I use it for everything. <laughs> I should use the other side, but, because that does hurt doing so. <laughs> Just being right-handed, I always use it. Now here, you got your tricep push-downs with the bar. And don't forget when you got this one here too, you can do the one arm. And you do that on both sides. And then by moving up, like you can use the bar, you can use the rope. But remember too, once it's there, you can do tricep this way and then like I said when it's up higher you can use a closer grip or if you've got like a bigger bar or even the little handle yep like one of those handles here where you I'll just show you, like we can do this one, like I said, you can do it for back or if you've got the wider one, yep. you can do it for rear delts as well. But like I said, if you do use this one, you can go wider, closer, but then you can just change handles and put something like this on. And like I said, if it's down on the bottom, you can do like a seated row with this handle or you can do it up high for the back. But like I said, if you bring it down here and you sit on a bench, it's just like a seated row movement. So like I said, you can just, by changing handles and grips, you can work all angles of any, any muscle group, any muscle group you have. By putting these ones on, them ones, anything. Like I said, you're pretty, 
there isn't really much you can't do on here as far as upper body and legs go even if you're down on the bottom and you got one of those leg straps you yes could, you could do leg curls with it if you needed or you can you know put the ankle thing on if you're laying on a bench yep and your bench you know you can do like an incline decline bench you could lay on that and do leg curls with the ankle strap on so like i said this one piece of equipment that barely takes up any space you could get a good decent workout on your whole body i said the only thing that limits you would be your mind but every body part you can pretty much think of you can do on here yes it's pin load it's not free weights totally different but you're going to get a good workout no matter what and those days if you've got you've got a gym membership and you go to the gym but then there's days you want to do it at home you could do a whole back arm shoulder chest workout on this and it's totally different too like it's a different feel you're more focused on the muscle you can contract it more like i said it's not about ego lifting it's just about working the muscle properly you know it's like you know you can just do And sometimes at home too i find some of the best workouts are at home because you've got no distractions you're just focused on training you're just focused on that muscle and i've like i said at home i've gone a lot lighter and had some of the best workouts where i figured oh, that's pretty light i get a good pump but the next day i'm sore than if i had to go into the gym using free weights so it's all in your mind half the time just how that mind muscle connection and what you're training I've lifted heavy weights and like I said before sometimes when you go really heavy all you're thinking about is push the weight push the weight you go a little bit lighter yeah. and now you're thinking squeeze the muscle control yeah. the movement get that mind muscle connection really focus on what you're doing rather than I don't want this to fall on me just push yeah. it and like I said then you're just moving the weight you're not really you're heaving using it. the muscles yeah so no, it's like I said that's a great piece and Anyone that says it's not doesn't really know how to train because you can do everything you want on here and have a great workout.